characters in the play. Veer St. Ledger Gould, the tragic titan of tennis. Veer Gould. Marie Violette Giardin, the diabolically devious dressmaker. Marie Violetta. Lady Gertrude Valley Gould, the benevolent benefactor. Art you Gertie. The Reverend John Thornycroft Artley, the Anglican arch rival. The Reverend Hartley. Emily, the dim demi mondaine. Emma from Sweden. An assortment of eligible ladies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And the angry mob. Angry, angry, angry! Art, art, art! Act one. The. Hello. Oh. Weird, cheery, wild production. He's Tig and she's AD. And our play, Love All, is on this week at the Clonmel Junction Festival. It's on tonight, which is the 5th, and also the 7th, the 8th, and the 9th, 8.15 or 8.30, depending on what you're, you're having yourself. Be ready for 8.15, show starts about 8.30. And it's on in the new Russell Court Theatre for the Clonmel Junction Festival. So we'll see you there. Please come. Again. William Lawn Tennis Club, Dublin, Ireland. The year is 1879, and tennis in the little colony is on the threshold of its golden age. A national championship, hotly contested by the Empire's elite. This is a world of limitless opportunities, and I don't just mean the sporting kind. For the Anglo-Irish gentry, the tennis party is the best means by which eligible men can make to pay for the ladies. But in this world of romance, glamour and high living, the whiff of scandal is never far away. Virgo! Another splendid performance again today, Mr. Gould. If you don't mind me saying. Why, thank you! <laughs> Papa says, if the national championships go ahead, you're the man to beat. Your daddy certainly knows his tents, my little queen pie. <laughs> You must be totally exhausted, Mr. Gould. Can I get you anything from the bar? Just your safe return. With a top up. <laughs> Dear Gould, legend has it that a mere swing of his racket could undo an entire morning's corseting from ten paces. With a look that pledged, <laughs> he had to have you. <sighs> and have you now. Yes, Auntie? Easy on the pin. Sorry, Auntie. I am delighted to announce that the inaugural Irish Tennis Championship shall indeed take place this summer at Fitzwilliam. <gasps> woo! 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 How splendid, Mr. Gould. We'll be near cheering you on. <laughs> and no doubt Mr. Gould will be there cheering you on at our first Championship is honor enough. Competing? Competing? Losers compete. Winners win. We Gould are winners. You, my boy, are Gould, and you will win. Yes, Auntie. The morning of Friday, the 11th of June, was, according to the Field magazine, everything that could be desired for lawn tennis, it being nice and fresh for the players, and yet warm enough for those looking on. This was to be Ghoul's moment of glory. Having volleyed the life out of all of old Ireland's fiercest racket battlers, the time had come for him to claim the title that was rightfully his. Mr. Beer said, 
St. Ledger Gould blazed through the early rounds of the championships. In the first match, Mr. E. Noble... May the best man prevail. ...had an ignoble end. Via Gould! Love 15. Love 30. Love 40. Game. Sorry. Love 15. Love 30. Love 40. Set. Excuse me. Love 15. Love 30. Love 40. Match. Could we start again? Gould effortlessly dispatched him. 6-1. Six, 6-1. One, six, one. The best man prevailed. Round two. L. MacDonald. Big dog will beat the baron yet. L. MacDonald had a fight. With little or no tennis ability. Via Gould. Love 15, love 30, love 40, game. Shite. Love 15, love 30, love 40, set. Shite. Love 15, love 30, love 40, match. <laughs> McDonald was also accounted for 6-1, 6-1. Shite. The semi-final against Comic Shore J.J. Kearns. Right. Was Boo's <laughs> first real test. Love 15. 15 all. 15, 30. 30 all. 30, 40. Juice. Advantage. Juice. Advantage. Juice. Advantage. Game. And Cocksure Kearns was coolly cobbled 6 3, 6 4 by the legendary St. Ledger. You cannot be serious. <laughs> the final of the inaugural Irish tennis championships against Mr. C. Barry. Blackpool was an altogether tighter affair. Love 15. Blackpool. 15, 30. Blackpool. 14, 30. Blackpool. Juice. Blackpool. Juice. Blackpool. In the final set, at six games to five in favor of Barry, there was a dispute that baffled even the umpires. And back. 